All right, so this is the video for section 5.2. Uh, now, I'm not going to go through some of the rules or the theorems simply because there's a, there is a video in 5.2 that goes through these, so um, I might refer back to them a couple of times, but uh, I suggest you watch that video in order to understand some of these rules. So I'm going to go ahead and do three examples. I'm going to do number 12, number 16, number 20, because uh, those are what you'll most likely see um on the final. So for number 12, they're asking us to uh, complete part A and B. So the first thing they're asking us is, is point P. Now, what we can see of point P, and if we look at this theorem here, um, it says that perpendicular bisectors PX, uh, segment PX, segment PY, and segment PZ are concurrent at P. Also, PA is equal to PC, which is equal to uh, PB. And so when it's concurrent um, at with at least two perpendicular bisectors, then that means that point P is the circumcenter. Of triangle ABC. And then looking at the concurrency of perpendicular bisector theorems, PA is equal to PB is equal to PC. Since PC is equal to 48, then PA has to be 48 units. And so again, um, looking at uh, the definition of the circuit center of a triangle is the point of concurrency of two perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle. Now let's look at number 16. So for number 16, they're asking us to find the coordinates of the circuit center. Again, definition is the point of uh, of concurrency of two perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle. So the first thing I want to do is I want to label some of these points so we know exactly what we're dealing with. So this point right here is going to be 0, 1. This is going to be 6, 4. And this is going to be 6, 1. Now the midpoint, we're going to find a midpoint of the horizontal uh, line from 0, 1 to 6, 1. So the midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 over 2, and then y1 plus y2 over 2. It doesn't really matter which one you, you, you do. So I'm going to label this, uh, these are my two points, since I'm doing the bottom line. Here's my x1, y1. Here's my x2, y2. So 6 plus 0 over 2. No, nope, didn't mean to do that, sorry. And then 1 plus 1 over 2, and so this is going to be 3, 1. So 3, 1, which would be right here, I'm going to label it, is the midpoint of that particular segment. Now, the slope of the bottom side is 0. Now, we can see it's 0 because it's a horizontal line. Now, if we were to find the slope, we would see that it's 0. Now, a line that is perpendicular to a line that has 0 slope has an undefined slope. And so, therefore, the line would be this one right here, which has the equation x is equal to 3. Right? And so, again, the midpoint of the bottom line, the bottom side, is the point 3, 1. Since that, since that line segment uh, that goes from 0, 1 to 6, 1 is horizontal, has a slope of 0, then a line that's perpendicular has to be vertical, has to have an undefined slope. And since the equation here is 3, 1, and it has to have undefined slope, then the equation would be... Uh, for this particular one, x is equal to 3. Now, the next thing that we got to do is we got to find uh, the midpoint of the right-hand side, um, the one on the right-hand side, which has the points 6, 4, and 6, 1. So 6 plus 6 over 2, and then 4 plus 1 over 2, will give me 6 and 2.5, right? And so, of course, here's my 2. Here's my 2.5. So that's the intersection. That's the point that I'm looking at. 
And of course, that particular point then would have ordered, the ordered pair would be 3, 2.5 would be the the circumcenter of this particular triangle. All right, let's look at number 20. So again, circumcenter of a triangle is the point of concurrency of two perpendicular bisectors. So the first thing we're gonna do is we want to, I'm gonna draw out this, uh, this triangle as best as I can. So I'm gonna make this my A, I'm gonna make this my B, then my C is going to be, um, I'm going to go down, so let's just do this. Let's see if we can do it this way. And now let's connect those two so we can just sort of see it, if you will. Make, make life a little easier. Obviously not to scale, uh, but, but I think I think we'll be okay. So the first thing is I'm going to find a midpoint of AB. And so AB, right? So it's going to be 4 plus 0 over 2, and then 0 plus 0 over 2. Uh, let me make sure I wrote my numbers right here real quick. B, C, A, B. So yeah. So two zero is the midpoint. Uh, and I'm just going to draw it right here just for the sake of illustration. So now, if I'm going to find the slope of BC, we can clearly see that BC has the same x value. So therefore, that is a undefined slope. So a slope that is, that is perpendicular to one that is undefined has a slope of zero. And so what I'm going to have to do here then is I'm going to have to find a midpoint of BC. And so the midpoint of BC, here's my, so it's going to be 4 plus 4 over 2, and then, oops, sorry, and then 0 plus negative 3 over 2. So this one's going to be 4 and then negative 1.5. So that's the midpoint of BC. So what we have here then now, right, is now we have to find um, the circumcenter. So we know, just like we had in the previous example, that it is just the intersection of these two lines. And so the intersection of those two lines is the ordered pair 2, uh, negative 1.5. And that's 5.2. Thank you.